Red Grange played here. Dick Butkus played here. Seats will be hard to find in Urbana-Champaign as the fans are ready to go, and so too are the players for our showdown at Memorial Stadium. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. Syracuse is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to have a look at what's going on in East Lansing. Old Sparty gets the victory, 27-10. In other actions, time to check in on what's going on in Las Vegas. This was a tight one to the very end. Minnesota gets the win, 24-21. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. From their own 22-yard line, it's first down. at the 19-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Number 12 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. And he's level at the 48. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Looks to pass. Quick pass. Brought down around the 41-yard line. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. They're going to pitch it. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 29. He scrambled. He rolls out to the right. That's a great tackle at the 43. Plus 14 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long.
It's the ninth play of the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Young gains seven yards with a catch there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. after positive yardage you know great effort here by the ball carrier but I think they that need to pass in that situation most of the time they'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt the kick is up it's got the distance and it's good that one looked like cake for this kid chalk up three points for the offense three nothing Illinois everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. On the inside handoff, takes it up the middle for a nice run. Schmidt gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 30. And he gets a yard on the run. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. It's third and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Really a factor with the crowd noise here. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Five wide. Fires it quickly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Red Hawks hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Deadlock at the moment, tied at 14. Reese, 3-0 here. Second and 10, ball on the 43. Throws it deep. He goes up and gets it. That's a game 42 on the play. First down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Gets out to around the six. Brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 3 nothing, fighting Illini. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. to the six-yard line. And here's another third down. And this crowd is going crazy. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. 
But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. He dies and he'll be marked down. This is the tenth play of this drive. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. And he just gets rid of it. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he hits him hard at the one yard line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They're crowding the line. They go to the back, and he's in for the touchdown. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Syracuse is up a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12 play, 74 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10, he's to the 20, makes it to the 22 yard line. The offense will start at the 22. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 24-yard line, second down. They'll run the option. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 26-yard line, third down. at the 29. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. Lemon back deep to return. He puts it away and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 38 yard line. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Here's a running play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Schmidt picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Two minutes left in the half. Syracuse holds a four-point lead. He throws right. From their own 42-yard line, third down. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. 
back to pass. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Fisher is waiting for the snap. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation. Second down and six. Ball on their own 39. They come out in a five-wide set. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 48 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He drops back. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out to him again, and he's tackled at the 40. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. A quick update now, here's Reed. Time to check in at Oxford, where the game has been great, almost as great as the tailgate on the Grove. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Miami, Ohio, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Tackle and a decent pickup. Illinois just took their first time out. First and ten. Ball on the 36. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Can't find anyone open. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. That makes it second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Take their second time out of the half. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 11 yard line. Second down. Back to pass. He goes out of bounds. Right around the four yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle made at the one. That's good for game three. Illinois will use their final timeout. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Front down, just outside the goal line.
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He may have changed things up here. Fires to the end zone, picked off. How about that defensive play? What I liked here was the way the defense reacted as soon as the ball was thrown and allowed them to come up with the interception. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Syracuse is up four. Nice run up the middle. You got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. They go to the ground game. He's to the 20. A great first half comes to a close. 7-3, Syracuse. Well, if you love defensive football, you had to really enjoy that first half. Time to start the second half in this low-scoring matchup. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. Brad, the first half was full of emotional swings. I saw it on both sidelines. When I spoke to the coaches, they talked about building on some things they did well. Both said they think their guys could step it up a notch. The rushing attack on both sides was pretty weak, guys. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Cutler picks up around five yards with that catch. Second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nice run there. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 31. Might have been some early movement up front. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. He lets it go. Picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. Touchdown, Flaming Alina. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. We'll take another look at the play here. And I'll be honest, I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not. Man, from our angle, it was really hard to tell. I think this one could go either way. on the field stands. Yes. It's a catch. Illinois with a two-point advantage. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. 
Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 36. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. From their own 36-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Miami, Ohio, playing ball in Oxford. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Red Hawks unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Second and long. Ball on the 31. What? And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. The student section's going crazy. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He punts. No, he won't. Quick shot to the open wow. receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Yeah. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they show they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. Illinois is up by three. Wants to go long and does. Uh, that close to being intercepted. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. Though he didn't make the catch like one. Second and ten. Ball on the 45. Young on the right side. Tackle around the 34-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Take you down to Oxford now for an update. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Wildcats deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. From the 19-yard line, first down. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Right side with the option. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up fourth and three. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and From their own 29-yard line. Second down. What the? And he's tackled at the 32. Third down, and they're going to need a 
about three yards to pick up the first down. This crowd in full throw right now. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Deep to return. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. Return for a gain of four yards. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Illinois is up by six. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of one. And that brings up second and five. So at the end of three, the Fighting Illini lead 13-7. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That makes it 37. Third down and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Oh, God. Don't get jumped. Throws incomplete. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Lemon is back to receive. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Not a bad return. They'll start at the 29-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Smith gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Third down and short. Got to be hard to hear for the offense. This crowd is deafening. Here's the option. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. They'll get him for a loss, and that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Fisher is the putter. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 27 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Illinois up six. Caught over the middle. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Hey, this guy has a pretty sure-handed weapon coming out of the backfield, and he showed some more good moves once he had the ball. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Drops back to pass, throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. 
Let's take a look at scores around the country. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Miami, Ohio, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 43. Now he tries to buy some time. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Syracuse just took their first time out. the 46-yard line. It's first down. On the run. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. It's out to about the 38-yard line. Syracuse will take their final timeout. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick pass, and they push him out at the 13-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run, only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. From the 13-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Ferguson picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. We're down to just a minute in this game. He gets out to about the nine yard line. fourth down. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. Scrambling around. He's out of bounds at the 19-yard line. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Illinois 13, Syracuse 7. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. For Illinois, they start the season out with a win. And for Syracuse, they start off the season on the losing end.